Alvin was shot dead by police in his shack at 4 in the afternoon on August 19. His mother, who does not want to be identified, says police told her they shot him by mistake while they were looking for someone else with the same name. There are four Alvins in our neighborhood. Police said they were looking for Alvin with an earring. They asked my eldest son, isn't your brother's name Alvin? Yes, my son said, but he has no earring. Then the police told his colleague that they shot the wrong man. When asked for a response, a police spokesman says, if people become victims of wrongdoing by our police, we ask them to file appropriate complaints so the Philippine National Police can file charges against police personnel. Alvin's mother has not filed a complaint because she's worried about her safety. In her neighborhood, Barangay 286, four young men have been shot in the past few weeks. The 17-year-old girl was pregnant when police shot her husband. She tells us police asked her to step outside when she heard the shots. Many here in the Philippines describe these deaths as collateral damage in a much-needed war on drugs. Others say they are violations of human rights that need to be investigated. But with many people here living in fear, it will be difficult to find witnesses who are willing to testify. The United Nations and European Parliament are among international organizations who have condemned the killings. After lashing out at these organizations for criticizing him, President Rodrigo Duterte now invites them to investigate. He denies police are involved in extrajudicial killings. I am inviting the United Nations. I am inviting the EU. Yung pinakamahusay, send the best lawyers of your town. Pati ang mga rapporteurs, pumunta sila sa Pilipinas. I will write them a letter to invite them for an investigation. But in keeping with the time-honored principle of the right to be heard. The foreign ministry says the invitation has yet to be sent. At the largest protest so far against President Duterte held this week, hundreds of people called on the government to stop the killings. Among them relatives of those killed, including Alvin's mother. If police insist in killing people, they should at least make sure that the ones they kill are those who are really using or selling drugs. President Duterte still enjoys wide support for his tough policies on drugs. A Senate inquiry into the extrajudicial killings has faced difficulties after its chair was removed. With numbers of victims increasing every day, some Filipinos are worried that more and more innocent people will be killed without any proper investigation. Stab Fasten, Al Jazeera, Manila.